Hi everyone, my name is Joe Barnard. This is um, sort of gonna be a follow-up to the failure and burnout video that I did in the winter of this past year. Um, if that's not your bag, I understand. This isn't like a ploy for support or anything like that. I genuinely want to share how it feels when things fail so publicly. Um, if you're not aware already, um, last night we did a launch of the Scout D1 rocket and it failed um, spectacularly. I'll just play it. Two, one. Oh. oh boy. Right, so like not the most successful launch. We had a target altitude or a target apogee of about 120 meters above ground, and I think we may have reached one, perhaps a half meter. So, you know, slightly below nominal. At the outset, it might seem like, oh, well, it's not that bad, right? There's not a lot of damage. I'm sure you can fix what went wrong. Um, by the way, I definitely can. Um, it was an electrical fault on the launch computer that made the computer die right after ignition. Um, it's pretty fascinating. Maybe we can get into it in a future video, but that's, that's not really what today is about. Um, so actually, the whole past week has been plagued with failure. Again, it's, it's another one of these things where it's just like time after time, um, most of the things that I have tried in the last week have just fallen flat. So I tried actually to launch this rocket last Thursday. Um, the launch uh, was almost rained out, but then as soon as the clouds parted, we started setting up and the launch pad wouldn't even turn on. So I had to send everyone home and just go back home. And then I realized, all right, cool. Well, we need to build a new launch computer because this one is broken. We have to just we have to just build a new one and have a backup at the launch site. So I figured, well, this is fine. I can still show this process. I can still live stream it. So on Sunday night, I tried like two or three different times to live stream the building of this computer, um, just so people could see what I'm doing. And then my internet just like died completely. Um, that was a lot of fun. And then, and then finally on Monday, it culminated with a really patchy stream, some, some tough upload quality and a total failure of a launch. So like, I just, I, I wanna just sit down and talk about how it feels again. Um, I think there's some problematic stuff here, um, not only on like my side, but also on just generally how we deal with failure and how we deal with other people's failures. Let's give, um, I'd like to give an example of the recent solid rocket motor test that Northrop Grumman um, performed. So they fired their Omega launch vehicle rocket motor, their first stage, this massive solid rocket booster, right? It's a super complex engineering challenge. It's very hard to get right. They fired it and they live streamed it. And uh, right near the end of the burn, the nozzle of that rocket motor exploded. And this is pretty bad. If this happened in flight, you might end up losing control authority on the vehicle and you'd probably lose the whole rocket. It's a bad failure. Um, and <laughs> a lot of people piled on because it's really fun to hate on big companies and it's really fun to, to just poke fun at that. I, I did too. I sent out a tweet that was like, Northrop Grumman, you lost a nozzle. Um, and I, t I tweeted it out and I was like, that's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny tweet, right? Um, but the thing that I think we don't often think about is that Northrop Grumman is not some nebulous entity. It's made up of a lot of really brilliant engineers and it's made up of a lot of people who work very hard at what they do and who just failed very publicly. And so the thing that we really shouldn't do that I fell prey to was we shouldn't pile on to it. And this happened, so I bring this up because this happened for um, all of my attempts as well to stream in the last week. Each time I tried to set the stream up, um, especially culminating the failure, but not even covering that, each time I tried to do this, there were a lot of people who were just really upset that like I couldn't get it right. Um, and genuinely a lot of it was out of my control. Um, and I, I think it just, I think it warrants like, it, I don't really know what to do. It's frustrating because I understand how fun it is to like poke fun at someone when they don't seem like a real person. But I went home last night and I just was devastated. Um, I, after the launch failed, a bunch of people were like, well, this was a waste of time or um, that was disappointing or, you know, they say all the things that you would expect to hear. Um, so I guess if I, can, if I can try to just end this on a more helpful note, um, I'd like to just ask that the next time some failure happens and you're thinking of making a comment on it or um, leaving a comment or, or putting something in a, in a live stream chat or who knows, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> just give it a little bit more thought about the person on the other end. 
It's very hard to remember that on the internet there are real people um, on the end of the other side of the keyboard and um, it's very easy to just poke fun at them and then not understand the consequences. So um, the culmination of all of this, I'm gonna take a break for a few days. I'm not gonna think about Rockets for a while. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna come back. We're gonna get this right. I'm gonna live stream it. It's going to work, but I need to take a break for a few days. So I'll be back soon. Sorry for all the live stream nonsense. We're gonna come back, I'm gonna get it right. My name is Joe Barnard. May your skies be blue and your winds be low.